Okay, let's get this going. I've set up a demo of random ratcheting in voltage modular. So, uh, just a quick outline of what I have at the moment. Uh, this is the clock generator, which makes everything move. I have a ratcheting module, an oscillator, and an amplifier. And uh, that's the minimum basics that we need. So uh, I'm going to start the clock and we will hear some ratcheting. Uh, actually, I take that back. We will not hear ratcheting because I haven't started that yet. So what we have the basics of, uh, you can see the clock flashing. So we have the clock module and 235 beats per minute. Uh, that is driving, here's the gate of going into the ratchet, the same speed. Uh, the gate out, going out of the ratchet module, going into the VCA, same thing. Uh, everything's going at the same speed, and here is the oscillator, which is, here is the oscillator, which is providing the sound. So, <coughs> nothing spectacular, but let us add to this. I'm going to enable the sample and hold. And you can see... It's one ratchet, which is just one note, and occasionally we get two. And I can increase this here, so we'll occasionally get three. Uh, in this case, that is not incredibly musically useful. Uh, you get just a blur of beats going, so uh, two, you can hear the difference. So this is the basic ratchet going on, and let us take this apart. So uh, we're headed for Tangerine Dream territory. Uh, right now there's nothing going on with the sound, we're just hearing a straight oscillator, but uh, we'll add some things in to make the sound get back to its more interesting version. So let me stop this, and I will bypass the sample and hold. So here's what's happening. <clears throat> Every time the clock generates a pulse, that goes to the gate end of the ratchet. And right now, we're getting one gate out for every gate in. And uh, that's just how it's set. And every time this flashes, that's a clock being sent out. That goes to the ratchet module. That gets sent to the output. That goes to the VCA, which lets the sound of the oscillator out to the outside world, which we can hear. So uh, what's handy about this ratcheting module is that there's a control voltage input. So what I've done is I've taken the sample on hold and that generates a random voltage. And every now and then, the voltage gets sent to the CVN. And if it goes above a certain voltage, uh, that changes the number of ratchets to more than one. And that depends on the voltage. So let us enable this module. So this is running. Uh, at 20 hertz, which means 20 times a second, it's sampling that voltage, sending that voltage out to the control voltage end of the ratchet module. And I have that set up to a custom mode. So what happens is, at zero volts, there's one step. 
and at 5 volts there are two steps. Now I can increase that. So at 5 volts there are three steps or I can uh, go bonkers and generate something utterly unuseful musically that is. Let's go back to 3 because at least you can hear that. So what happens is the voltage randomly gets sent out of the sample and hold here and into the ratchet module. And if it's zero, you get one ratchet. You get one pulse out, which is what you're getting in. If it's, because we have this set for three steps, if it's approximately two and a half volts, you'll get two pulses sent out for every one in. And if it's five volts, you'll get three pulses sent out for every one in. So let me set this back down to two. So, essentially, that's it. Uh, you could take a sequencer that allows it and program in ratchets so that on the third step, say, you get two pulses, and that's perfectly valid. Uh, but what we have here is out of human control, so in a sense, it sounds more natural because it happens when it darn well feels like. Uh, every now and then, Due to the random varying voltage, we get two pulses for every one. So that is what a ratchet is. Now, there's, of course, as in everything modular, a million ways to do this. Uh, you could have a sequencer that accepts voltages for the numbers of steps, or you could uh, have a clock module that lets you multiply the clock speed based on the input voltage. There's any number of different ways you can do random ratchets, but uh, this is a pretty simple one, and uh, it didn't take too long to set up once I figured out what the heck was I, I was doing, which is kind of something I always say in these videos, but uh, it's always true. So uh, let's jazz this up a little bit. Uh, here, I'm going to enable the sequencer, but you can ignore that for now. Uh, and I'm going to stop everything. Oh, should have paid careful, more careful attention. So here we go. Uh, I have the step sequencer outputting a G2, but it's not running, so it's not going to the other steps. Uh, but that way it's not the lowest pitch that the oscillator can do. So um, let us add the filter. And that filters out a lot of it, but then we'll add in this LFO back again. And the LFO does two things. Uh, it's sending this one LFO signal out to modulate the cutoff frequency, and this signal mod modulates the resonance. So uh, we're making the filter move, and let us add in our effects stream. One last thing, add another LFO. That changes the left-right balance of uh, my space-making module. So this is the full patch. I'll start the sequencer going. It's a perfectly fine sequence without the ratcheting, but uh, you're just getting one pulse per step on the sequencer. And that's fine and musically useful, but the ratchet... The ratchet adds something uh, random and tenuous and uh, puts everything a little bit on edge. And uh, it's not done by human hands, so it's not predictable to the human ear. So it just makes the whole sequence come alive in a way. Just a simple random ratchet. 